What's going on guys? So today I wanted to do a review of one of the new mowers we purchased this summer, which is the Wright Stander 36 inch. Um, we went with the 36 because the 32 we demoed and we weren't, you had to fix the, it was, it's the fixed deck. The 32 inch stander is the fixed deck. And up in the Northeast here, you know, there's different types of grass and we, we had to change the spacers out too many times, you know, throughout the day, you know, just to, you know, work with the height of the grass at some different properties. Um, the 32 inch didn't work because it didn't, it had the fixed deck. Like I said, this 36 inch has the float deck and has the one to five inch cutting increments for the deck height. Um, we're slowly getting out of push mowing. Uh, besides very, very, very small properties where it can be profitable. You know, you leave the truck on for maybe 15 minutes and you're in and out. But those really small gated backyards, we got rid of push mowing. We got rid of maybe 16 accounts this summer. And it just wasn't working out with the with the fixed deck, 32. Um, we demoed that for a day. And I think within our nine-hour workday, we wasted maybe 30 to 40 minutes total throughout the day, not in one shot, just fixing the height like at certain properties, like you got to take the spacers out and, you know, move the blade. It, it just wasn't, was not, was not profitable to be, to be honest with you. It was a lot of wasted time, especially in the heat at the end of August, we did that and it was not fun, you know, jacking it up on the gate of the trailer. Um, it wasn't, was not, but anyway, so we went to 36. Um, this machine's really great. I think we actually only have uh one point one point five hours on it um it's not used i mean it's used a lot but we have really small areas where you can zip in and out and just be done in these backyards um what's really cool about this mower is the back tires are my biggest concern for rutting you know when you're when you're moving and zigzagging and all that and you're you're just moving too much these tires aren't thin thin so they weren't ripping up lawns they're a little thick um and we've had no complaints anywhere from your beautiful, you know, fertilized, lush green lawns to, you know, the, the dirt backyards that are, you know, don't even need to be cut. No rutting, no issues. And especially in the rain, this thing was nice and light. Um, again, you know, it didn't, didn't make any issues with the properties. It was great so far, so far. Like I said, we only have an hour and a half on it. Used it for leaves a little bit. Um... But like I said, we have the, the 48s for that. Uh, so we'll go over a few things about this mower. It has the Kawasaki engine, the FX600, I believe, uh, 19 horsepower. Um, this, you know, we did the oil change. I did an oil change right when I got it. I wasn't, you know, whatever, have your opinion, you know, about whether you should or you shouldn't. Um, I believe it's like 10 hours, but I did it. But uh, this is very easy to do the oil back here because you have the filter right here and your drain plugs right underneath and you connect your hose and you have your barrel or your drum right underneath there uh, which is great you know that was very simple and easy um, obviously you know it's hydro powered uh, the capacity of the fuel tank is 5.5 gallons I believe um, again this thing you know wasn't guzzling fuel too much again we only have an hour and a half on it but uh you know no complaints there with the fuel um what else do we have the it's it's not a fast mower but if you're buying something this size you're not looking for speed you know my opinion you don't need speed to cut grass anyway but i believe it's like eight miles per hour or something like that but when you're when you're in a very small gated backyard you can zip around, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's nice, it's not bad at all. Um, I went over the, the float, this 36 is the float deck with the AeroCore deck, um, like most right mowers or all of them, not sure. Uh, but the one to five inch mowing increments, which is nice, okay? Uh, this is, uh, we, actually, oh, we actually keep small bags of grass seed in all of our mowers, um, just in case we do rut areas, like we have the 48 over there and the other 48 in that trailer, which we have bags of grass, little, little bags. I believe this is, uh, we use these little bags from buying, you know, new steel products and just keep some grass seed. 
I learned in the past, you know, it looks nice. You know, you, you rut something up and you throw some seed down. But, again, no rutting with the smower so far. So far. Um, yeah, so the floating deck, the 1 to 5 inch increments. And that was the biggest thing with this. I said, you know what? We dropped about 14 to 16 properties where we couldn't get in with the 36. You know, the gate was just too small. It would have worked the 32, but the fixed deck was not... It was just too much downtime. There was way too much downtime. Um, and it just wasn't working. And this is great. Like I said, it's like the other mowers. You just, it has the float deck up and down, you know, and so far so good. You know, nothing. This, this mower is pretty cool. It's like most of the other rights. There's only two um, grease points. And I believe they suggest like once a year. It's right on the front caster wheels here, right here and right here, which is nice. Um, we did take the, the flap off the side because we do, I think all of our smaller backyards, we mostly bag. So bagging wise, we went with the Ballard Catch Pro. Um, no complaints so far. Like I said, um, it did get banged around this summer in the trailer with the other, other baggers. I, I can't get upset, you know, stuff breaks. You gotta get over it, deal with it. Um, but it's held up for the one and a half hours so far. Um, it is the aluminum, so it's not bottoming out or anything. It was a pain in the butt to put together. You know, putting those things together just is not fun. Um, but so far, like I said, that bag was good. I believe our dealer didn't have any bags in stock. So just went online with the Ballard Catch Pro bag. And, uh, you know, so far so good on, on that end. Uh, but this, this mower is like really small and compact. You know, um, it fits great in the trailer. You know, it's just, it. you know, I believe in one trailer we have a 48 and a push mower. And then this standard and the other trailer we have just uh, two 48s. So, uh, like I said, so far so good. Back here, you know, going over everything. Sorry, everything's a little tight for the winter. Um, same base controls up here, like all your other right mowers. Nothing fancy. Um, break right here on the right side and uh, this is the side with the mowing increments raise it up move your pin do that uh, air filter oil on the side there and then right has the all the hydro stuff very accessible I believe one of these sides has a pin no? okay um, and then if you got to change the belt, I believe back here's where that starts. And then you take the, the front covers off sides. You got your battery over here. Um, when you latch things down on, you know, your open trailers, the hooks are two right on the back right there. And I believe the two are right, right in the front before the, yep, right, right in the front here, which is really nice. Um, you know, for when you're, when you're tying everything down. Uh, but you know, I think that's about it. You know, no complaints so far. Like I said, we've only used it for an hour, but it cut the grass fine. You know, you're not flying through yards on a 36. Um, you know, that's kind of everything so far. You know, no complaints. Definitely, definitely happy we got it. We cut down major time when it came to, you know, push mowing, you know, the lawns that we kept and it shaved off. You know, I think it was only used for not even half an hour some days, but like I said, it, it worked out. You know, no complaints at all. We do, I think this winter I'm going to put one of those grass flaps on the side. We have grass flaps on all of our other right mowers, our, our sta you know, our uh, standers, and I love those very much. But like I said, we do bag almost every backyard that these 36s, this 36 goes through. Um... But really, that's that's about it, guys. This this mower, you know, no complaints. Starts right up, you know, just like I don't know, nothing nothing fancy. Um, everything's there, you know, everything we need. It was just a very very good investment, very good investment. Uh, getting rid of the push mowing, a little less, you know, work on your body, you know, for guys push mowing or, or you know guys doing that. But that's you know, I think that's about it. Nothing. I mean, you know, 
these, these things are pretty simple nowadays. Um, yeah, uh, this is, we change the belts. There's the, these two covers come off here. And then I believe right has, you know, you crank like a socket in there and it, you, you hold it open. Um, but yeah, that's about it guys. That's, I'm pretty sure I covered everything. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna put the grass flap on, but I'll definitely give an update, you know, a serious update after the spring and the summer. Cause you know, now if we can pick up those gated backyards that this will fit in, we'll do it, you know? So we'll see how it goes. All right guys, thanks for watching.